Hello everyone and welcome back. Very often in MS project we are faced with the question that how much of my work has completed and uh, how much a task has completed. And a lot of people are not aware of how to see it. By default, if you create a new project plan, uh, I have one open with me. Uh, this is not a new one, but it's a project plan that has been created. And sometimes people are confused on seeing how to, uh, you know, keep track of the percentage of each task. So uh, that brings us to a very important question as to how to add columns in your MS project plan. Before I start off, uh, in MS project by default, the, uh, the tasks or the columns that are uh, already there are the task names, duration, start, finish, resource name, and predecessors. So these are the default columns available. However, this does not mean that you cannot add further details to it. So today we'll be covering on how uh, this can be done. So first of all, for example, I want to add a percentage uh, column in my project plan. So I'll head over to the very first um, column I have. I will right click and go over to the insert column option. And over here, you'll see a lot of uh, items listed. These are basically the column names that we can include. So first and foremost, I'll select percent complete. This will show me the percentage of task completion. So for example, if I want to mark any task as 50% complete, it will show me as such that you can see over here, I can mark this one, 35%, 100%. Um, over here, uh, just to um, give you an add-on tip, is basically uh, you can mark uh, default as, um, you know, these are some of the default markations of percentage completion that you can use in MS project. It's in the schedules um, section of the task uh, ribbon. So you can see you have 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. 100%. And there's also a mark on track option. We'll cover this some, some other time. It's usually related to uh, when you, uh, when you uh, mark a project status date with it. So uh, this is how you can add a few other columns as well. If you can see, for example, I have start and finish. Let's say I want to add baseline start and baseline finish. I will have it here. Since I haven't baselined this project, so you are seeing an A over here. However, if, you, uh, if I had done so, uh, you would have seen um, the baseline dates in these columns. So where did it go? Here is it. So these are a uh, few ways of uh, showing additional information. You have predecessors, there's also successor. These are basically the tasks that would be followed up after a certain task has completed. So uh, let me add that as well. You can also move columns around as per your visibility, uh, ease of visibility rather. So uh, this is how you can see the percentage complete and uh, just to uh, mention one more thing, that the summary task will automatically reflect the percentage that are, uh, that are being set in the you know, subtasks that are under it. For example, if I mark this one as 100%, you can see the summary task will change to 100% automatically. So this is um, a few things that you uh, can do in MS Project. Also, you can filter out the tasks that are completed. For example, I can see uh, the tasks, if I want to see the tasks that are 100% complete only, I'll, I'll be shown that and I can selectively see the tasks. So this is something uh, else that you can also do with all of the columns. So that was all so for today's short video. I hope this will be helpful for you and uh, keep using MS Project and if you have any questions, do feel free to uh, ask your questions in the comments section so uh, we can uh, respond back to it and maybe make a video for your assistance and i hope you'll be connected to the channel 
be remain subscribed you will keep hearing from me and uh, do like the video take care of yourselves and bye bye